One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, not just in show business, but on the face of the earth is Dave Koechner. You know him from Anchorman and a million other things. He's got a new movie coming out, uh, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. And I got a chance to sit down with him. Here's our conversation. He's delightful. Here we go, everybody. A big star from the world of show business he is one of the stars of Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, the great and good Dave Koechner. How are you, fella? I'm fantastic, Dave. One of the nicest people I've ever met in the, uh, in the business. Yeah, that's about to change. Really? Just for no reason. All right, I'm ready to go. Tell us about this picture, though. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. That's the one. Dropping October 30, zombie comedy that is at its heart, its core, it's about three men, young men that are, are in the middle of a friendship. It's about the, the nature of the friendship falling apart and then coming back together inside a zombie movie. So if that doesn't pique away your interest, I don't know how I can. There's also hot women, but we are a little bit off track. I play a scout leader, scout leader Rogers in that thing. It's really my story. Mm -hmm. A man who <laughs> has a hairpiece. It's a good looking hairpiece. What do you think about this? I, if I can make it about me for a moment. Please do. I'm going bald back here. Now really you, I, you know, if you don't mind me saying so, they, it's too far gone Chrome for you. Dome. Right, you've seen, remember Ron Popeil 15 years ago? Yeah. He had that, you could spray yeah. it onto your hair. Now they have, it looks like a salt and pepper shaker. Yeah. So, Fills in, I use it. Why aren't you using Propecia and Rogaine? I don't know. It's like the Jedi stuff. It yeah, only yeah. works Which, on the weekend. Which, by the way, mind. I'm in the new Star Wars picture. Is that right? I didn't know that. That's a lie, but I'm going to start spreading the rumor. Do that one. Here's the thing. You wouldn't know. Like I said, I was, they'd say, what part? I'm like, I was a stormtrooper. Perfect idea. Yeah, so. you, I was in the trailer. You didn't see me? I am. Very clever. Let's talk about the Chiefs, though. Chiefs. So you, Ouch. What, who's Ouchy. your biggest rival? The Chargers, the Raiders, or the Broncos? Well, Who do you hate the, the most? Well, right now, the Broncos. Mm -hmm. I would, the only reason I wanted the Broncos to win... Uh, a couple years ago, I was against the Seahawks. It was because I was hoping that Manny would then retire. Hmm. But they were done within the first four minutes? Yeah, pretty much. That game was, was over. Yeah. Do you think Peyton, have you gotten a chance to take a look at him this year? Look at that. Isn't that the best? I've said this before. I'm going to say it again to you now. The best of all referee symbols is the safety. I don't think there's a close second. Does it actually mean this? Didn't have a prayer. Am I right, bro? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That's a, that would be a fun story to investigate the origins of all those signs. Right. If you were a referee and you had the signal touchdown, there's a bit of variation from ref to ref. How would you make those? I like this one. I like mimicking the goalposts mm -hmm. rather than like, look at me. That's right. Hey, fans. Isn't that, this is a little bit, of, it's not about the game now. No. I'm refereeing. It's about Ed Hockley or whoever's wearing that striped yeah. jersey. That's I'm right. a rocket. Dave Keckner. I, 15 years ago, when I first moved out here, I would go to Largo, and anytime I heard Naked Trucker and T-Bone were gonna be on the stage, I would make way to go and sit there and be among the 100 lucky people that would sit in on that show, and we would tell tales around the funniest thing no one is seeing right I now, know. and then it grew and grew and grew, yeah. and now I sit here with you, so it's a thrill for me yeah. to get the kibitz with you. Then you eventually get a failed TV show, and then you go, hey, you're done. Yeah, yeah. This is your chance, because I'm closing this out here right now, so if you wanna start your your descent or your ascent into that was my, that being was my, a prima donna. I was going to knock it over to be funny. Then I thought, I don't know how fragile this is. And He's too out, nice to knock a helmet off. Like, yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, it's not. Maybe it's just not you to be a prima donna. Yeah, I love it. Take that, NFL. Watch it. And make sure you watch Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse coming out October 30th, unless you're a night owl and maybe they're showing the movie at the crack of midnight. Yeah, there. we are. We're going to do a midnight screen. Of course, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. It's a Halloween movie. Get your ghouls on. Mm -hmm. Let's come out. Let's have some laughsies. That's right. The great Dave Keckner, everybody.